Hey everyone, welcome back to the Black Note channel. Today I'm excited to review the Smock Nord X, which is a durable and waterproof device that offers compatibility with the RPM and RPM2 coil series. It has an output range of 5 to 60 watts and a 6 milliliter refillable pod. Smock Nordex features 1500 milliamp rechargeable battery, output range of 5 to 60 watts, 6 milliliter pod capacity, RPM and RPM2 coil series, water, dust, and shock proof, USB Type C charging. So, what's in the box? Well, you're gonna get the Smock Nordex device. 6 milliliter RPM2 pod with a 0.160 ohm mesh coil. Another 6 milliliter pod, but this one's an RPM with a 0.4 ohm MTL coil. USB Type C charging cable. And a user's manual that you should definitely read before using your Nordex kit. As mentioned before, the Smock Nordex comes with two pods and they look very similar, so here's how to tell them apart. You want to turn them over and find the filling port covers. If you look very closely, it says RPM2 right there. And this one just says RPM. Now please note that this RPM 0.4 ohm coil works best at 25 watts. That's the one on my left here. And on my right, the RPM2 mesh, which is a 0.16 ohm coil, works best at 25 to 50 watts. Now if you need to change out a coil, it's pretty easy to take out. All you do is flip this thing over, grab it with your fingers, pull the coil out. Now when you're reinserting the coil, be sure to locate the flat side of your coil and the flat side of your pod. Line those up and push it in until it doesn't go in anymore. And now we're ready to go to filling. Now both of our included coils with this device operate in a sub-ohm range and at high wattages. So, when you go to fill them up, make sure you're using a high VG liquid, such as 70 VG to 30 PG. Otherwise, it could end up burning your liquid and it is going to taste terrible. Now to fill your pod, you're going to need to open the filling port cover on the side there. I'm just going to pull that back. You can see the hole where we're going to put our e-liquid bottle nozzle into. I'm going to take my e-liquid bottle and put the nozzle into the hole. Just give that a good squeeze to fill up the pod. Please be sure not to overfill your pod. When the pod is full, you're gonna go ahead and remove the bottle and be sure to close that cap all the way. Push it down firmly so nothing leaks out. And I'm gonna give it a little wipe just in case anything spilled there. Now I'm gonna take my pod and reinsert it into the device. Make sure it clicks. And I'm gonna just let it just sit and rest for about 10 minutes. And this is gonna give the e-liquid some time to soak into the coil so that way when we go to vape it, nothing burns. Now to turn the device on, we're gonna hit the power button five times fast. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And the screen is lighting up. Now I'm gonna set the wattage. The best for this coil is 25, so I'm gonna hold down this button. Let it turn up a little bit. There we go, 25. Now you can lock the controls by hitting the power button three times fast. One, two, three. That's going to prevent you from accidentally firing or changing your wattage. Unlock again, you can press the button three times fast. One, two, three, and your power is unlocked. To vape from this device, you'll need to hold down the power button while you're taking the draw from the tip. Maximum vape time is eight seconds, and anything over that, it's going to automatically shut down for safety reasons. Turn your power off or hit the power button again five times. One, two, three, four, five. Goodbye. Now on the right side of my screen there is my battery indicator that says I'm at about 55% right now. If I'm going to charge this thing up, I'm going to flip it over and locate the silicone plug on the bottom that's covering our charging port. i peel that back there. Now that it's open, I can take my Type-C cable and plug it right in. Looking good. All right, now let's make sure the other end is plugged into a power source because you're sure not going to get any power if you don't. Once this is good and charged up, you can go ahead and disconnect that cable and be sure to push that plug back into place so no water or dirt gets into it. 
you're good to go. So overall, the Smock Nord X is a reliable and customizable device that offers sub ohm performance in a compact package. To top it all off, the water resistance is a great feature in case you fall in the pool or drop in the toilet. I don't know. But anyway, if this sounds like the right device for you, be sure to head over to blacknote.com. And as always, happy vaping.